Yo, what's going on, Planet SOM family? It's your main man, JD. Thank you for tuning in. Today, we're gonna, we're gonna be doing a uh, song review on one of my favorite songs of all time. I think it's classic. Um, I think it's very unappreciated, very, uh, how do you say it? Uh, just um, something that's underrated, something that maybe should have had a better uh, push. Something that forever should live on in hip hop history. Um, it's 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 a it's a grown it's a grown folk type of song. You know, it's a song from one of my favorite uh, music artists, and uh, the music artist is Little Rob, Little Rob the Goat. Um, he's from San Diego, my hometown. Um, he's forever the goat, forever the goat. We're talking uh, the goat in san diego we're talking the goal of chicano rap and yes i'm using i'm using my hands you know we gotta stamp it you know what i'm saying <laughs> so um oh yeah he's forever you know like i said he's the greatest of all time coming out of my hometown um and you know if you want to talk about numbers he got it you know we're talking about discography he got it we got we're talking about longevity we're talking about um lyrics uh lyricism um, creativity everything you know this man has been doing it for 30 years you know he's on the Mount Rushmore he's permanently on the Mount Rushmore uh, you can't take him off you can't replace him you can't like exchange him out for someone else uh, he's forever the goat he's forever the goat now um, one thing about uh, little Rob obviously you know as you go through his discography uh, we're, we're, we're fortunate to say that uh, we're, we, we, we grew with him, you know, like as in, you know, we seen him when, um, you know, he was, he was a younger, a younger artist. And then uh, at the same time, you know, we're talking about a grown man now, you know. So one of my favorite songs that um, he came out with is actually on one of the, one of his later albums that came out in 2009. Now I remember um, when I first heard this album, you know, I, I was in the, I was in the military, so at the time I was in uh, in Germany, right? And I was away for a while, and I was just fiending for some San Diego hip hop. You know what I'm saying? And mind you, this is before uh, you know the internet was popping like that, so I can't just like you know try to Google something. You know, like yo, I want to listen to I don't know some Mr. Shadow or obviously you know some Little Rob. Uh, and, and you know the younger cats coming out of San Diego uh, It wasn't really like that and, uh, and also it was a period you know in between from like let's say you know From obviously when the goat dropped, you know um, When he dropped his debut album, you know compared to like let's say it, you know 2009 and also today today I mean we're flooded away. We're fortunate enough to have um, a lot of uh, Artists coming out of San Diego, right, but at the time 2009, you know, I was just I was just, I was just uh, waiting and searching for some San Diego rap, and it's funny. Like I said, I bought this album in Germany, you know. And I remember when it first came out, you know, I was um, uh, I was just excited. I was just excited to to listen, and you know, this this is this an older an older little rap. You know, what I'm saying it's, this this album is called Love and Hate. You know, it's the Love and Hate album. Came out in two thousand nine. Uh, I want to do a full review on the album, but I just felt that there's there's this one song on the album that really hit me hard. Uh, that I love is literally you know one of my one of my favorite songs of all time, um, and I just feel like I, I would spend so much. Like, look at how much minutes I'm spending on it now, and it's like I, I think I, I I would I would spend a whole entire video just talking about it. So I'm thinking, you know what, let me just do one video, a review on um, on just this song specifically. Because like I said, I could spend a whole, uh, you know, a whole day just speaking about this song, you know. And hopefully uh, YouTube doesn't flag me, you know, because I'm just trying to um, dissect the song. Obviously, we're going to pause it. Obviously, we're going to um, just, like I said, just go through it. Just dissect it bar for bar. I think it's some uh, a grown, a grown uh, topic from a grown man speaking to some grown men, 
Um, so, like I said, it's, well, I'm, I'm just doing one song. So this one song is called You Don't Understand by Little Rob on his Love and Hate album that came out in 2009. Um, you know, it's very, it's very grown, you know, um, it's, 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 it, it's for, let's say, let's say this, let's say this. If you ever, if you think you have somebody who like, let's say a, a, a man, a man, a little boy, you know, who, um, who needs some, some guidance, you know, who needs some mentorship, who needs, um, how do you say, uh, just uh, a, a guide, a, 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 so a grown man to speak to him, you know what I'm saying, to guide him into manhood, you know, this is it, this is the song. You know, so it's, it's Little Rob as a grown adult, grown mature man, Little Rob, speaking to grown men and also baby boys, you know, like jo like the Jodies, you know what I'm saying, like, like yeah, okay, you older in age, but are you a man? You know what I'm saying? Have you transitioned from boyhood to manhood? You know, and, and, and sometimes, you know, some some baby boys, you know, they they, they don't. They, it's like they it's it's hard for them to 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 switch it out, to be like, okay, you know, I'm gonna be mature, I'm gonna handle my responsibilities. Like 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 any man could have babies. Any male could have, you know, could make babies. You know, but, but you know, you got to step up, be responsible, be a father, you know, take care of your kids, you know, uh, heal from, from, from all, all, all the damage that you went through as a, as a kid, learn, go to school, have a, um, have an education, no matter what it is. You know, I'm not saying you got to be a, a, a doctor out here, but at the same time, you know, read, re get, get some books, you know, um, uh, get yourself a career, whether, whether if it's, you know, in the corporate world, or or you just you know trying to find yourself a trade, you know, on some grown man tip, taking care of your family, you know, all of that, all of that, and um, it's more of a. I'm just gonna say like, if you listen to this, you know, I guarantee you'll be successful. That that's that's what I'm saying. That's that's my attitude toward towards the song. The thing is with this song. Like I said, it just it, it it's it speaks into into the mind of a man. It's it's advice. It's what your daddy should have told you. It's what your grandfather or your grandfather should have told you. It's what all these grown men in your life should have told you. So if you listen to this as a boy, or or, or even as a as a Jody baby boy, you know, grown boy. You know what I'm saying? You in your mid twenties, you in your mid thirties, and you still Jody baby boy. You know, and and you over here with Yvette, <laughs> staying at your mama's house, not getting your stuff together. This is for you. You know what I'm saying? And this is straight coming from the goat. This is coming from the goat's mouth, the goat's mind. And you know you have to respect it. I mean, we're talking about the goat, Little Rob. You know what I'm saying? Um. So like I said, the song we're reviewing today comes from Little Rob's Love and Hate album that he dropped in 2009, and it's track number two, and it's called You Don't Understand. And it's for all the baby boys out there, all the Jodies. Listen to this. Y'all grow up. Like I said, it's, it's a song about the stuff that your daddy should have should have told you. All right, so I'm 10 minutes into it. Like I said, you know, I could do a whole video on this song, and that's why I did it. You know, that's exactly why I'm doing it. Because, I mean, I, wanna, I don't want to review the entire album, but I'll stay stuck on this song. So let me just do this song first, and then I'll do the album later, you know? All right. So let's try to get, um, try to get YouTube not to flag me. So um, let's, go th let's, let's get into it. All right, so all right, let's 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 let's, let's check out the beat. Y'all hear it? See, it's already, it's already, already. You know what I'm saying? That guitar playing. 
All right, here we go. Here we go. Now check out, check out the lyrics. Check out the chorus. This is the chorus. Check out the chorus. Here, let me, let me bump it. Let me bump it. Let me bump it. Let me bump it. And I can't understand. You feel me? You feel me? Already, already. He's already talking. He's already talking. So right off the bat, he's over here talking about he doesn't understand why you don't understand. Why how and how you could be a better man. So he's already he's already questioning you because he already knows you baby boy, you Jody. So we already know who 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 we already know who he's talking to. Baby boy. Alright, so here we go, here we go. He's about, he about to get in verse one. Alright, here we go. You've been a man without a plan, and just because you are hard doesn't make you less a man. Come on, come on. You've been a man without a plan, and just because you are doesn't make you less of a man. You understand that? So, 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 yes. You might, be, you might be in a position where you're baby boy, where you're Joey, baby boy Joey. You know, a man without a plan. But just because you are, it doesn't make you less of a man. Them bars, you know what I'm saying? We're talking about, he, he's trying to be empathetic. He's trying to be like, okay, look, I understand you probably misguided. You probably don't got nobody to teach you. You probably don't have nobody. Because, I mean, we, we talk about manhood. You know, manhood overall, it's, you know, it's, it's, I, I, like I always say, I always say that um, <laughs> the hardest transition that a person could do is, is go from boyhood to manhood. Now, 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 check me out, check me out. Now, the analogy is from uh, the Titanic, right? So, when the, when the Titanic was sinking... They said, okay, women and children first. And what does that mean, right? That, you know, grown men had to stay behind so we could spare the women and children. Correct? So, they didn't say women and little girls first. You know what I'm saying? So, it's like the little boys were included within the children. So, so as boys, you know... We're protected. We're born protected from our fathers. We're supposed to be protected by our fathers. And and it's like the whole thing of men, right? What we do is we're supposed to protect and provide. You know, we're supposed to protect and provide, and that's what we're supposed to do. And at the same time, we're supposed to stay behind on, on the Titanic, on the sinking ship. Cause we gotta we gotta save the lives and spare the lives of the wives and the kids. So mind you, you turn 18, right, as a baby boy, and then boom, what happens? You're a grown man. You're supposed to protect and you're supposed to provide. Okay, so so what does that mean? That means that when you're 18, right, you automatically transition to manhood. But we come from protected beings. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, who's going to teach you to be a protector, a provider? Which is manhood. Because it's like, respect to the women, respect to mamas, respect to our daughters, respect to our sisters. But in traditional values, what happens? The little girls, when, as soon as they're 18, they grow women, right? With respect. And what happens? Let's say they get married. Okay, so their husbands are supposed to also protect and provide those baby girls who just turned 18 and grown women, right? So technically, their entire life, they should be protected and someone's going to be providing for them. You feel me? So what I'm saying is this. The transition from boyhood to manhood is something extremely hard. And if you don't have a guide, if you don't have a mentor, if you don't have any help, to go from boyhood to manhood, then you just get stuck as Jody. You know, you baby boy. 
You, you get stuck with that mentality. You get stuck with, um, you know, just not being able to transition. Like I said, hey, we already talking. We talking. We talking. I'm already, what, like 20 minutes deep? And we talking. All I'm saying is this. We talk about the GOAT, talking to the Jodies, the Jody baby boys. You know, the, boy, the boys who, 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 who haven't transitioned from boyhood to manhood, even though they already aged. Even though they already, you know, they're 25, they're 35, you know, and they still don't understand that they hold value. Because look, what do he say in the beginning? He goes, you've been a man without a plan, and just because you are doesn't make you less of a man. Come on. Come on. That's baby boy. So what he's saying is, that, look, it's okay that you haven't had mentorship. It's okay that you haven't had a leader. It's okay that you haven't had, you know, somebody helping you, helping that transition, teaching you, molding you, guiding you. You know what I'm saying? How many, how many fatherless uh, children are out there? You know what I'm saying? It's not easy. It's not easy if you're if if you don't have a father growing up. If you don't have, a, you know, I mean, we're talking about father overall. We're talking about a stepfather, you know, a teacher. A mentor, you know, like for me, let's just say for me, I had I had sergeants. You know, say I was 18 years old. Boom! I was I was in the military. I was getting yelled at. I was getting checked. You know, what I'm saying, and hey, I guess you could say I was a man without a plan. But just because I was, it didn't make me less of a man. And that's the goat. This is the goat's lyrics. This is Little Rob's Little Rob's lyrics talking to you. That's just all, the, the first couple bars. Come on, let's keep going, let's keep going. You've been a man without a plan, and just because you are, doesn't make you less of a man. All right, here we go, here we go. Here we go, let's see, let's see. Get up and do something, before you do something. Get yourself an education if you want to prove something. Come on, bar for bar. Get up and do something, before you lose something. Get yourself an education if you want to prove something. Come on, man. The goat is talking. The goat is talking. He preaching out here. Get up and do something. Before you lose something, get yourself an education if you want to prove something. Come on. You can lose it all. Look, get up and do something. Something. What is it? Idle hands. It, you know, it's a, de it's a devil's playground. You don't have nothing to do. You don't have a goal. You don't have, you know, you're, do you're doing nothing. Guess what? Get up and do something. Because why? What happens? Before you lose something. He's not specific, but it's something. Your life, your family, your freedom. Money. Respect. Your lady. Anything, something, you, before you lose, get your, get up and do something before you lose something. You you on the couch, you ain't even getting up, baby boy, you Jody, baby boy. You understand what I'm saying? It's coming from the goal. We, we're not even half, we're not even halfway to the first verse. My man preaching. Get up and do something before you lose something. Here we go. Get yourself an education if you want to prove something. Come on. Anything. Educate yourself. Get a trade. That's education. Get yourself a degree. That's education. You educating yourself. Read a book. You all understand what I'm saying? Get up and do some before you lose some. Get yourself an education if you want to prove some. All right, y'all get it? All right, here we go, here we go, here we go. Let's see what the goat has to say. Ready? Yeah, she pretty bad, right? Leave you in the dark, left behind. Without a flashlight, mind it. Give no mind it till you get blindsided. Come on. Come on. Yeah, you pretty bad, right? Leave you in the dark. 
left behind without a flashlight, blinded, criminal minded, till you've been blindsided. Oh, oh, now he's talking. Now he's talking specifics. Now he's talking specifics. So, so okay. Let's break it down. You're pretty bad, right? Like, oh, you're a tough guy. You know it all. You from so-and-so? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, you, okay, you pretty bad. You pretty bad. Because, you know, we're talking about a young man's ego. You know, young man's pride. And, you know, you got, you got to humble yourself. You got to humble yourself as, as, as a young man in order to receive help. In order to receive guidance, in order to, you know, learn. Because obviously, hey, if you know it all, hey, you ain't gonna be listening to nobody. You pretty bad, right? You pretty bad. Then he goes, okay. And now, you, get, you know, he goes, leave you in the dark, left behind without a flashlight, blinded, criminal minded, till you've been blindsided. You know, you could you could translate and you know, you could translate that to into many things. But overall it's like no matter what you in, if you're not on the right path, you're gonna be blindsided. You know, yeah, right? You're saying criminal minded. Blinded, right? Obviously you you're not on the right path. You're already blinded. Because you're on the right on the wrong path. You're on the wrong path, you blinded already, criminal minded. You in the dark without a flashlight. It's like being in the dark without a flashlight. That means he goes, so you've been blindsided. You've been blindsided. That means whoever taught you that, whoever put you in that position, whoever put you in that situation, whoever taught you all that, all that wrong path stuff, you know, you just, you know, it's, you're just going to fail overall, baby boy. Now check this out. Check this out. Look what the ghost says. Look what the ghost says. Put up the time, go by it like this night show. Put on the FIFA, pick up a book. Y'all heard what he said? He said, where'd all the time go? He's asking the question, where'd all the time go? Where did all the time go? Probably like a slideshow. Put down the pipa, pick up a book. Y'all heard? Y'all heard what he said? Because the time's gonna go by, regardless. Regardless, the time's gonna go by. Where'd all the time go? You'll be asking yourself, because you know, you're on the wrong path. You're misguided. Jody. You know what I'm saying? And regardless, the time's gonna go by. Like a slideshow. And what do you say? Put down the beep by. Put down the pipe. Put down the pipe. Put down the, 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 the beer cans. The, the 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 drugs. All the all the bad stuff that's distracting you. And he said, pick up a book. Pick up a book. Look what he says next. Look what he says next. You might be surprised and realize that's all it took. You might be surprised and realize. You might be surprised to realize that's all it took. So put down the pipa, pick up a book. You might be surprised to realize that's all it took. You hear what he said? You hear what this grown man is teaching? Grown man, grown man. Teaching grown men. Look, baby boy Jody. Put down the pipa, pick up a book. You might be surprised and realize that's all it took. That's all it took. Put all that stuff away, all those distractions. Drugs, alcohol, distractions. You understand? <laughs> like pick up a book, dude. You might be surprised. Realize that's all it took. Literally, that's all it took. Get yourself an education. 
no matter what it is, you in a trade, you know, you want to go to school, whatever it is, that's literally all it took. Read, read, get better, grow up. You might be surprised to realize that's all it took. Come on, man. Come on. Okay, here we go. We're coming up to the, to the last the last part of, of, of the first verse. How you guys feeling right now? You see the goat? He's he's he, he's he's spitting real. He's spitting that real. Shout out little Rob. Drake grown man talking to baby boys. Here we go, here we go. Be optimistic and listen to see your vision. It's right in front of you. It's up to you. It's your decision. Read what's written. Come on. Come on. Be optimistic and listen. And see your vision. It's right in front of you. It's up to you. It's your decision. Read what's written. Come on, man. Come on. So what he's saying is overall, look, your blessings are already there. Your blessings are already there. It's already written. It's already written in stone that you have all these blessings waiting for you. So be optimistic. Be positive in, 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 in the future. You know what I'm saying? Be optimistic and listen. See your vision. See your vision. You know what I'm saying? Have a goal. Have a goal. See, see the vision. Be optimistic. Your goal is right in front of you. Literally, it's right in front of you. If you just pick up that book, go get yourself an education. And again, and again, he said, it's up to you. It's your decision. Come on, man. Read what's written. It's, your, it's up to you. It's your decision. So all this is literally up to you, whether you succeed or not. Come on. It's the goat. It's the goat preaching. Grown man goat. The grown man goat, little Rob, out here teaching the, the, the kids, out here teaching the, you know, kids with no with no fathers. Kids who think they they too cool, they know it all. Grown man Jody, 25 years old, still living at their mama's house. It's all right, it's all right. You, you can live at your mama's house, but at the same time, you know, help out mama. Don't just be sitting on, don't just be sitting all up on the couch, smoking, drinking, playing Nintendo. You 25, you live with your mama? Okay. You have your mama with the mortgage? You have your mama with the rent? You picking up after yourself? Oh, oh. Oh, you pretty bad. You messing with Yvette. You get, you get Yvette pregnant. Come on, baby boy. Come on, Jody. How are you bettering yourself? All your blessings are right there in front of you. All you gotta do is work hard. Put down the beep out, pick up a book. You might be surprised and realize that's all it took. <laughs> be optimistic and listen and see your vision. It's right in front of you. It's up to you, it's your decision. Read what's written. It's already written. It's just up to you to get your blessings. Go get your blessings. How are you going to do that? By working hard. By not sitting, sitting around the couch. Remember what he said? He said, get up and do something before you lose something. Get off that couch. <laughs> Go chase your dreams, man. Chase your dreams. You got to work hard. That's the thing. But that's what us as men, we got to do. We got to work hard. No matter what we're doing. Even if we're not chasing our dreams, we got to work hard. That's, that's, that's the end of the first of the first verse. Look, we already spent like half an hour on just the first verse. Because Little Rob is preaching. Little Rob is teaching. He's guiding. He's mentoring. He's, he's leading you into a better future. And we talk about the GOAT. Alright, here we go, here we go. Let's go to the chorus. Let's go to the chorus. Alright. Now this is called the pre-chorus, right? Because remember, in the beginning we heard, you know, hey, homeboy, you don't understand 
why I can't under and I can't understand why you don't understand that you could be a better man. Right? We heard that. Okay. Alright, this is the pre-chorus. This is a pre-chorus. Now check this out. Pre-chorus. You've been blind and you can't see all the things that you could be. Looking back, it's, it's killing me because you're not where you should be. Come on, man. Come on. You're not where you should be. It's, it's killing the mentor. It's killing the goal. It's killing the teacher. A grown man. You know, it's, it's, it kills us inside when we see little boys not making that transition to manhood. So what do you say? Looking back, it's killing me. Because you're not where you should be. It's the GOAT, y'all. It's the GOAT. It's the GOAT. Come on. S -s Spreading that knowledge. Kicking knowledge. Come on, man. Come on. It's a very unappreciated track. These, This track should be in schools. This track should be everywhere. You should, you should, you know, you should, if you have a son, make sure he listens to this on repeat. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Make sure your son listens to this on repeat. Your nephews. Your brother. You know what I'm saying? Hey, and sometimes even your dad. Like I said, sometimes we can have daddies who are baby boys. Who are Jodies. Who don't understand they gotta, they gotta take responsibility. You know what I'm saying? Put down the peepot, dad. Put down the, that, that, that beer can, dad. Oh, oh, you made children, but you still not handling your responsibilities. Come on, man. And, it, and, and for us men, obviously, the GOAT, right? He's not over here criticizing you. He's just, he just making you look in the mirror. And be like, look, play boy, baby boy. What did he say in the beginning? Hold on, let's go back. What did he say in the beginning? What did he say in the beginning? All right, and this, this is how he starts it. He goes, you've been a man without a plan. And just because you are doesn't make you less of a man. Right there, he acknowledges, bro, you a man. You a man. You a whole man out here. But you just don't have a plan. You just do not have a plan. And that's holding you back from taking that, that real step into manhood. It's coming from the GOAT, y'all. It's coming from the GOAT. It ain't from me. You know, these bars are straight the truth. All right, let's get back into it. Like I said, yeah, I'm, I'm going to keep talking because, like I said, you know, that's why I'm doing a video on just this song. Just one video off of one song because it's so impactful. On some grown man tip. Coming from the GOAT. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? All right, so let's go back. Uh, let's go back to the song. Let's go back to the song. All right. So is that, so now, obviously, we just heard the core, uh, the pre-chorus, which was, you know, you've been blind and you can't see all the things that you could be. Looking back is killing me because you're not where you should be. All right. Now let's go. Let's let's go. Now it was a pre-chorus, so now I'm going to the chorus. Remember. <laughs> Alright, you ready? We're going to verse 2, verse 2, verse 2. Alright, let's see what the GOAT has to say. Hold on, I'm going to rewind it a little bit just because I, I don't want to lose it. Hold on, hold on. When you're rising, look at the bigger picture. There's more to you, you're more than what's been written in the scripture. Alright, you heard that? Open your eyes and look at the bigger picture. There's more to you. You're more than what's been written in the scripture. 
The goat is trying to uplift you. You know what I'm saying? There's more to you. Open your eyes. You got to look at the bigger picture. Look at the bigger picture. Open your eyes. Some people just go around thinking, all right, I'm just going to live day by day. I, I'm not going to grow. I'm not going to learn. I'm not going to educate myself. I'm not going to heal. I'm not going to learn. I'm not going to read. I'm not going to work. I'm not going to help mama. I'm going to sit on this couch. I'm going to get Yvette pregnant. I'm just baby boy. You know what I'm saying? Not, not, not taking guidance. Not learning. Not good. Like, overall. So what I'm saying is, look, he's not criticizing you. He's not over here, you know, belittling you. Like he, he, he started off already acknowledging your worth. That you a man. You a whole man out here. Open your eyes and look at the bigger picture. There's more to you. You're more than what's been written in the scripture. So you got to open your eyes, look at the big picture, right? To why you got to help out mama. Why you got to pay the rent. Why you got to heal. Why you got to learn. You know what I'm saying? So you can pass that on. So, so first of all, you could grow into manhood. And you can pass that on to the next generation. And help them not pass these traumas down. Not pass, you know, uh, 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 what is it, uh, mediocrity down. Because, you know, every generation has to be better. This is, why, this is why you need to get up. This is why you need to get up. That's why you need to get, you know, go to work, go to school, heal, read, put down the beep out, pick up a book. Get yourself away from these distractions. There's more to you. You're more than what's been written in the scriptures. Now we're talking about, you know, he's not talking scripture like Bible. He's talking like, you know, there's statistics out there, right? That says, you know, kids in fatherless homes, boys in fatherless homes. It's very, it's, you know, this is a statistic that says you ain't going to succeed. You ain't going to succeed, baby boy, if you don't have a father. That's what it's already written. It says you're not going to succeed. You understand? But what do you say? There's more to you. You're more than what's been written in those statistics. So okay, you're right. You're right. You didn't have. You didn't have. A, you didn't have a, a a father. You didn't have a mentor. You didn't have a stepfather, a, a guide, a teacher. Okay, okay, okay. You're right, you're right. Or like, as for me, I had sergeants. Okay, you didn't have all that. But there's more to you. There's more than what's been written. And all these statistics that say, oh, if you, if, you know, you grew up without a father, you grew up with uh, uncles, without, without uncles teaching you. There's more to you. So mind you, this is just the beginning of the second verse from the song that we doing, if you missed it, it's Little it's Little Rob's song called You Don't Understand on the Love and Hate album. You know what I'm saying? So, okay. Let's keep going. Let's keep going. Let's see what the GOAT keeps saying. Let's see. Let's see. All right. Here we go. Take a look around, see what's going down, and try to understand the world is bigger than your town. Come on. <laughs> Come on. Take a look around. See what's going down. And try to understand the world is bigger than your town. Now he's spitting game. He's spitting game right here. It's deep. This goes deep. This goes very, very deep. Because you know, we all we all live in our bubbles. You know, whether if it's like because of financial reasons or maybe to fear or maybe because I don't know, no matter what, what type of reasons, you know, some people just don't go out. Just people don't just leave, leave their town. You know, there's a whole world out there. OK, I live in San Diego. You know, what I'm saying two hours away, we got L.A. 40 minutes, 30 minutes away, we got another country, Mexico. Next was next to the state, we got Arizona. 
We could, we could literally go anywhere. And it's all different. It's, it's different. You know what I'm saying? We got to understand that overall there's a whole world out there. Get, in, get on a plane. Go to different countries. I mean, you think, you think, you think people growing up in Paris, up in France, you think they care about any neighborhood here in San Diego? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? We got so many, so many places on the, in this world. I guarantee you won't touch every. It'll be hard for you to reach every continent. <laughs> you know what I'm talking about? Every continent. And then all of a sudden you want, let's say you want each continent. Okay, try to go to each country in the continent. I mean, just Africa got like, well, like 56 countries all up in it. You know what I'm saying? I mean, I don't know. I don't know. I'm pretty sure it's like so, something around that. But what I'm saying is there's a whole world out there and you out here in a bubble and you don't understand that the world is way bigger than your itty, itty bitty little town. He goes, take a look around, see what's going down, and try to understand the world is bigger than your town. Boom, boom, boom. Like I said, it goes deeper because it's like the whole thing of like, okay, you know, what sinister things have been created, right, to make our neighborhoods you know, where we at right now, right? We talking about, okay, systemic racism. You know, why, why, why we only have liquor stores up in the hood? Why aren't they in the, in, in the suburbs? You know what I'm saying? All, all that stuff is, is, is real, it's real, it's real. Like it's all, it's all, uh, what is it? Public record, you know, if we really start looking at deeds, you know, overall, uh, how, how companies were like, real estate companies were like, oh, don't sell to the blacks. Oh, don't sell to Mexicans. That's the truth. That's, that's true American history. You know, where, where that's why black people can't live in the suburbs. That's why Mexicans can't live in the suburbs. Because it's systemic. Yes, you're right. You're right. So what he say is what? What he say? He goes, take a look around, see what's going down. What, so what's going down? Yeah, okay, the systemic racism, the, 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 the poverty, the violence, all that, baby boy. Take a look around, take a look around, see what's going down. They don't want us to succeed. You're right, you're right, you're right, you're right. You're a victim, okay. But you have to understand the world is bigger than your town. We got a whole world out there. You just making yourself, you just making yourself a victim and you're not letting yourself grow. You're not letting yourself grow. You know what I'm saying? Like, okay, fine, you're kept, you're kept down, right? All up in your town. There's some stuff that's unfair. You're right, you're right, you're right, you're right. Keeping you down, keeping the little man down. Okay, okay. There's a whole world out there. You know what I'm saying? There's a whole world out there so there's no excuses. You're just making excuses. Take a look around, see what's going down. And try to understand the world is bigger than your town. Try to understand that. Jody. <laughs> the whole world out there. You know, I, you know, I was happy that, uh, you know, I was happy that I was able to join the military at 18. Uh, the only thing I knew growing up, all the way till I was 18 years old, was San Diego. That's all I knew. And for uh, seven, eight years, I lived overseas. We're talking about Japan, Germany. And then I also lived on the East Coast. And I saw that we, there's a whole world out there. Traveled to many different countries. And I'm blessed to say that because it gave me a different perspective. The world is way bigger than San Diego. Than, the, than my bubble. The city where I grew up. And that's what the GOAT is trying to tell you. Take a look around, see what's going down, see everything that's going down. Like I said, the violence, the, the systemic racism, the blah, 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 all that stuff. You're right. All that stuff is there. But you have to try to understand the world is bigger than your town. We got a whole world out there. You over here stressing over stuff 
That doesn't matter. It's just excuses. All right, let's go back. Let's go back. What does Ghost say? What does Ghost say? Don't you want to be a better person? Do all you can. Be all you can be just to be a better man. Come on. He asked a question. He asked you a question. Don't you want to be a better person? Do all you can. Be all you can be just to be a better man. Come on, man. Come on. He asked you a question. Don't you want to be a better person? Don't you want to be a better person? What's your answer? What's your answer? Don't you want to be a better person? Do all you can. That means you got to get up, right? Do every single thing possible to become a better person. Be all you can be. Mind you, he already told you. It's already been written. All you got to do is work hard. You know what I'm saying? Continue on the good path. Put down the beep. I pick up a book. You know what I'm saying, Jody? You know what I'm saying? Do you want to be a better person? Do all you can. Be all you can be just to be a better man. Come on. Come on. What's your answer? Let's keep going. Let's keep going. Come on. What do you say? What do you say? Live and learn. Okay. But at the same time, learn to live. Learn to give. The future is the kids. That's what it is. Come on. Come on. Come on. The GOAT, man, is the GOAT straight giving us that knowledge. Learn to live, but at the same time, sorry, sorry. Live to learn, but at the same time, learn to live. Learn to give. The future is the kids. That's what it is. So what you going to give the kids? So look, look, he said, live and learn. Live and learn, my brother, look. What he said in the beginning, he goes, you've been a man without a plan, does it make you less of a man? Okay. Now, 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 you live and learn. Live and learn. That means, okay, fine. You had your mistakes, you made your mistakes, but because you live in, and now, okay, learn. Learn from it. Learn from all those mistakes that, that happened. Learn from them. But at the same time, learn to live. Learn to live. Okay, so you made your mistakes. You hit now, you know what I'm saying? You gotta heal. Get out of your town. Go travel. Read. Put down the drugs. Learn to live. Enjoy yourself with your family, with your mama, with your wife, with your kids, with your dad. Learn to live. Learn to live. Don't just get stuck in this little bubble in your little hometown. You know what I'm saying? That's irrelevant. Compared to the entire planet. Literally, the entire planet. Learn to live. Go. Matter of fact, you know, just even, even let's say in my, in, my, in my city of San Diego, right? We got so many places to just, to just step away from our norm. Right? We go to any type of beach, nice restaurants in, uh, in the suburb of La Jolla. Right on the coast, we go to SeaWorld, go to the zoo. Literally, just next next city's over, right? We talking about okay, we talk about the county of San Diego. We touch Orange County all the way to Mexico. That's what that's where we at. But there's so many things in between. You know, we go down to Ramona, down to Julian. You know what I'm saying? Learn learn to do something. Learn to you know ride a horse. You know what I'm saying? Jet ski, surf. Anything, literally do anything. <laughs> Drink some wine while you're painting with your wife. Come on, man. You can learn so many things just being in your city, but at the same time, step away. Step away. Go travel. Learn to live. He goes, what do you say? He goes, live and learn, okay? Learn from their mistakes, but at the same time, learn to live. Right? Learn to live. 
Learn to give. Woo! That's from the heart. That's character. That's character. Learn to give. When was the last time you gave? The spirit of giving, that's, that's, that's one of the most beautiful things. That's character. Generosity. Learn to give anything. I'm not just talking about, you know, stuff. But it can be. It can be. You know, you see somebody without something, you have it. Go ahead, give it. You see, all right, all right, let's talk money. Okay. Give them some money. What about time? Giving time. Some charity work. You know what I'm saying? Go, go, go help, go help, you know, uh, you know, walk an old lady from across the street. <laughs> Your neighbor needs some help painting the fence. You know what I'm saying? Some kids, like, give your time to the kids to be a coach, to be a mentor. He said, learn to give. That's anything. He didn't say, learn to give money, learn to give. No, no, learn, just learn to give. That's from the heart. That's character. It grows in you. Learn to give. What do he say? The future is the kids. That's just what it is. The future is the kids. That's what it is. What are you going to give the future? What are you going to give the kids? When you out here still sitting on mama's couch. When you hold so much value, you hold so much value already as a man. But you're wasting your time. You're wasting your time. You're not getting up on the sofa. You know what I'm saying? You're just wasting your time overall. The future is the kids. That's what it is. All right. Ready? Here we go. What is, it, what is, it, is it, it's the last part of the second verse. Take a minute, look at yourself and tell me what you see. Tell me why you don't see the same things as me. You need to wake up, wake up, shape up. Yeah, shape up and shape out. Face up, lace up, let's go. Come on. Come on. Take a good look at yourself and tell me what you see. Tell me why you don't see the same things as me. You need to wake up. Wake up, shape up. Shape up and ship out. Face up. Lace up. Let's go. Okay, here we go. Let's break it down. Let's break it down. Let's break it down. Take a good look at yourself. <laughs> and tell me what you see. Mind you, the GOAT's telling you already that he sees value in you. You already hold value. You already hold value. So take a look at yourself. Take a look at yourself. And tell me what you see. Tell me why you don't see the same things as me. You understand? So he doesn't understand why you don't see yourself as valuable as he sees you. Come on. And then overall everything. Like how you said Make sure, you know, you understand that the world is bigger than your town, that you need to read, that you need to get up. That's the way he sees it. That's the way he sees it. He sees it grown man on some grown man stuff. That's the way he sees the world on, 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 with, with grown man eyes. Grown man mentality. So tell me why you don't see the same things as me. Tell me why. Take a look, take a good look at yourself and tell me what you see. Tell me why you don't see the, the same things as me. Come on, man. Come on. The go out here preaching. So how does he finish it off? You need to wake up, shape up, and ship out. Face up, lace up, let's go. You feel me? You need to wake up and shape up. Wake up and shape up. You feel me? All right, here we go. Here we go. So he ended. He ended that uh, that second verse. So now um, he's coming into the pre-chorus again. Here we go. All right, here we go. Verse three. 
Now check this out. He's about to close it out. He's about to close it out. All right, here we go. <laughs> what the go? What the go got to say? Directions have consequences. Learn your lessons. Change direction. Make corrections. Come on. Your actions have consequences. Learn your lesson. Change direction. Make corrections. That too much. That too much. Jody, baby boy, here we go, here we go. Your actions have consequences. All right? Learn your lesson. Learn your lesson. Look, you made your mistake. You did the whole uh, consequences, right? You got the consequences for your actions. Okay, okay, okay. But learn your lesson. Learn your lesson. Change direction. All right, you can still build. You still have that value. That's fine. That's fine. You started late. That's fine. That's fine that you made that mistake. That's fine. But you got to learn. Learn the lesson. Learn the lesson. Then change direction. Make corrections. Come on. Come on. Okay. Okay. Here we go. Let's see. Let's see what else. Let's see what else. Let's see what else the goal has to say. Know the answer to the question before it's asked to you. No excuses, you just have to do what you have to do. Come on. <laughs> okay, he said, know the answer to the question before it's asked to you. That means that you should already have this knowledge. How are you gonna get knowledge? Because you're building. You already building. You made the correction, you put down the beep out, you picked up the book. Right? You were humble enough to ask questions or to, to, to take guidance, to take guidance from grown men. Right? You, you're, you, you've been healing. Know the answer to the question before it's asked to you. Because what he say? He goes, hey, your, 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 your actions have consequences. Learn your lesson. Okay? So when they ask you the question, hey, what, what happens if I do this? Hey, you already know, you already know the answer. You already know the answer. Like, hey, yo, hey, hey, son, hey, nephew, don't do that. Don't do that. I know the answer. And then obviously, you know, a, a wise man learns from a fool's mistakes. And obviously, you know, we teach it, we teach the kids because they're the future, right? They the future. So know the answer to the question before it's before it's asked to you. And what do you go? What do you go? No excuses. You just have to do what you have to do. Come on. No excuses. There ain't no excuses of you going from boyhood to manhood. There's no excuses. There's no excuse. <laughs> There's no excuse of all, all saying why why are you still baby boy? There's no excuse. There's no excuse to why you're not succeeding. There's no excuse to why you're an addict. There's no excuse to why why your kids don't have food. Why your kids have a have a drunk daddy. Why the kids can't even see you. You feel me? There's no excuses. There's no excuses. A man has to do what he has to do. No excuses. No excuses. You just have to do what you have to do. That's what, that's what, that's what the ghost said. <laughs> All right, here we go. Here we go. If you don't want to, then once again, I've lost you. But in the long run, I'm just going to trust you. If you don't want to, then once again, I lost you. But in the long run, Holmes, it's gonna cost you. You hear what he said? If you don't want to, okay. Then once again, I lost you. But, it, but in the long run, <laughs> it's gonna cost you. It's gonna cost you, it's gonna cost you. If you don't wanna listen. If you don't wanna listen, in the long run, okay, that's fine. You know it all. You'll say, oh, you, you, you pretty bad, right? Okay, okay, you know it all? Hey, but guess what? In the long run, it's gonna cost you. 
I would hate to be that grown Jody baby boy at 65. You know, no savings. No, no, no respect from the family. Bad health. No freedom. Nothing to show for 65 years of being a man. <laughs> or, 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 okay, okay, how about, how about 40 years? 40 years of being a man. Let's say, let's say you get your act together at 25. Now you're 65. It's 40 years of being a man, and you got nothing to show for it. I, I, you know, because in the long run, if you don't listen, in the long run, it's going to cost you. Okay? Okay? That's accountability. The legend trying to keep you accountable. All right, here we go. Here we go. You may not see it now. May not believe it now. I can guarantee it, though. Speak and let me alone. You may not see it now. You may not believe it now. I guarantee it, though. Sigale. Míralo. Okay? He goes. What do you go? He goes. You may not see it now. Okay. You living in the now. You know what saying? You're not seeing in the future. Oh, you know it all. You're 25. You're 35. Whatever you are. You know what I'm You're 18. You know it all. And you may not see. You may not see the future. We're going to get there. Time's going to go by. Time's going to go by. You may not see it right now. You may not even believe it now. <laughs> but he goes, I guarantee it though. I guarantee it. He didn't say, oh, it might happen. He didn't say it might happen. He said, I guarantee it though. It's gonna happen. It's gonna happen. If you don't get your act right right now, you're gonna feel it in the future. He guarantees it. This is what your dad should have told you. This is what every little boy should be hearing. You may not believe it now, right? If you look, if you don't get your act together, you may not see it now. You may not even believe it right now, but I guarantee it though. Sigale, míralo. That means sigale. It means Okay, keep doing you. Like keep keep going. Keep going. Sing out there. Go ahead. It means go ahead. Meet out there. Like go ahead. Watch him. Watch him. Sing out there. Meet out there. Okay. We'll see you. We'll, we'll see you. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. <laughs> you understand? Know okay. You know, you're gonna talk a little bit of Spanish, but I'll translate for y'all. I'll translate. I'll translate for the kings that all understand Spanish. Here we go. Here we go, here we go. What else? Alright, for the kings who don't know Spanish, who still hold their value, who we talking to grown men, and the Jodies, we love you too, Jodies, but we just want to make that transition from boyhood to manhood. That's all the goat, that's all what he's trying to do. He goes, Pobrecito el hombre en el espejo. He goes, okay, let's just feel sorry for the man in the mirror. Pobrecito. That means like, like, you know, like we're, we, we're, we're trying to be all empathetic, sympathetic for, for this man. Pobrecito. Because he's, you know, he's a, he's a, like a, like a, like in, in, he's in a, in a poor position. Pobrecito. El hombre en el espejo. The man in the mirror. So the man in the mirror, you know, he's in a bad position. Let's feel sorry for this guy. <laughs> right? Let's feel sorry for this for this mis misled arrogant because it's arrogant because it's not it's not allowing you to not humble yourself to listen to grown men. Pobrecito el hombre en el espejo. With no clue what to do. You have no clue what to do. The best way out is always through. The best way out is always through. Okay, you have no clue, okay? Let's feel sorry for the man in the mirror. Right? The man who didn't want to listen. With no with no clue what to do. Because obviously, that's what we're talking. We're talking about men without a plan. With no clue what to do. Well, what do he say? He goes, the best way out is always through. Look, no matter what you go through, no matter what you've been through, 
in your life, the best way out is always through it. That's how you succeed. That's how you learn. That's how you grow. Go through it, okay? Let's push. Let's keep pushing. We can't just feel sorry for the man in the mirror with no clue what to do. Hey, you don't have a clue what to do? Guess what? Keep pushing. Keep pushing. Keep growing. Keep healing. Keep learning. Keep working. You feel me? Okay, okay. Here we go. He's about to close out the last verse. Here we go. Yesterday is history, tomorrow's a mystery, and today, today's a gift. That's why we call it the present. You caught it? You caught it? Yesterday is history. Tomorrow is a mystery. And today, today's a gift. That's why they call it the present. Come on, man. Come on. Come on. Come on. No matter what happened yesterday, guess what? It's history. Okay, you're right. You're right. You didn't have no mentor. You were, you were, you know, you're set back by by systemic racism. You, uh, you know, you you you're misguided. You made mistakes. You know. Okay. 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 You're right. But that's history. That's history. Yesterday was history. Tomorrow's a mystery, okay? But today, today is the only thing we can control. It's a gift. You can wake up, shape up, keep pushing, keep healing, keep working, keep reading, put all the distractions down, put down the beep out, pick up a book. You might be surprised and realize that's all it took. Come on, man. Today's a gift, that's why they call it the present. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. This track, like I said, look, I don't know how many minutes we in. All right, it's right here. We an hour in. Right? We are now we're in. And like I said, this track, if you have if you have sons, if you have nephews, if you got uncles, if you got cousins, if you got baby boys, right, who 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 you know are misguided, who you know don't have no mentors, who you know, you know, they're 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 not on the right path, but guess what? Obviously you acknowledge that they have value as a human being that have value because they're a man who just they just need need some help some guidance they need to listen to this track right here right here this grown man track from the goat we already an hour in like i said that's why i didn't want to do just a review on the whole album i didn't want to do all that i'll spend an hour talking about this track this this Amazing track that the GOAT put out for us. You know what I'm saying? He's over here teaching, preaching, molding, guiding. Come on, mentoring on some grown man tip. Grown man. Grown man tip. Preaching to all the all little Jodies, all the little baby boys that are over 18 that can't get their stuff together. But sometimes, hey, and, you know, like I said, no matter what the excuse is, because there's no excuses, all you got to do is get up, put down all the BS, put down the distractions, put down the alcohol, put down the drugs, let go of the, of the women, you hold value, king, you hold value. We, we talking from the GOAT, the GOAT himself. Come on, you need some motivation, some motivation, some guidance, listen to this track. This should be played in schools, like I said. All the women need to need to get, give this track to all the boys that they know. Come on. Shout out to the, to the GOAT. To the GOAT, Little Rob, for making this, this gem, this diamond. This diamond record. 
that it just it, it shines, comes straight from the heart, from man to man. You know what I'm saying? From man to man. That's what this, this track is. It's talking from, from, from the voice, the mind, the heart of a man to a man. Come on. This is what we need. This, this is dropping 2009. I've been listening to this over and over for, for, for over a decade now. It needs more recognition than just, you know, my little, my little hour spiel. <laughs> Of, of this amazing song, this amazing poetry. So go show love to the goat, Little Rob. This is all, this is from his uh, Love and Hate album. It's track number two. It's You Don't Understand. Let's all listen to it. Let the world listen. The world needs to listen to this. Thank you guys for staying around. I appreciate it. Like I said, I, I just didn't want to do a, 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 an album review. Shout out, like I said, shout out to Little Rob. Shout out to all the fatherless kings who, 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 who are winning. Misguided youth. You're valuable. <laughs> we all need to succeed. We all need to grow. We all need mentorship. We all need guidance. Let's humble ourselves to learn from each other. To build each other, uplift each other. That's exactly what the goat wanted to do. That was his intention. He didn't belittle you. He wanted you to acknowledge the man in the mirror. Hey, let's go. Let's go, son. Let's build you up to a man. And this is like I said, this is what your daddy should have told you. This entire song, this is what your daddy should have told you. Alright. So, like I said, shout out to Little Rob. Shout out to all the fans who love Little Rob. Like I said, go go listen to this song. Shout out to uh, everybody who uh who stayed. I appreciate y'all. And uh, let me know let me know in the comments what you think. You know, I appreciate the feedback. Maybe I could do another another song, another uh, another album or whatever. Just let me know. And make sure, hey, make sure you show me love. Make sure you subscribe. Make sure you uh, give me a like. Comment if you want. I appreciate it. Thank you for the love. Thanks.